Hello everyone, Robert Johnson here with LedgerRun.com. Big news in the track and field world today is, or actually really the entire sports world, is the man, Usain Bolt, was disqualified from the men's 100 meters for a full start. His fellow Jamaican, Johan Blake, became the youngest 100 meter, man, meter, man in, meter champion in history. But is that really what happened? What I'm about to show you is videographic evidence, stunning video evidence, that Johan Blake is actually the one that, according to IAAF rules, he's the one that false started and should be disqualified. Usain Bolt did absolutely nothing wrong. Now, the, the IAAF rules are very clear in this. Once the guys are in the set position, which they all are, you must, without delay, assume your full and final set position. So no movement is allowed. What you're going to see is Blake flinches. It's very clear. He flinches. He's the one responsible for, for Bolt's false start, and therefore he should be disqualified at the very least warned. And they, there's another rule that if an athlete, through sound or otherwise, is, disturbs another athlete, the starter must abort the start. The starter did not abort the start. Bolt reacts to this. Now, the weird thing is Bolt doesn't even realize he reacted to this. Why? Because he's the man. He's in the moment. He's about to run his third straight global title. Bolt, he's ready, focused, subconscious, he responds, and he's out of the race. Now, what? watch right here. Watch Blake's legs. It's very clear. He's going to flinch. Bolt's the only guy here that would possibly see this. He flinches. Bolt goes. And the rest is history. Ready? Here we go. Flinch. Bam. Bolt goes. It's, it's one, two. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Ready? We're going to watch it again. Watch Blake's leg. Ready? Go. Flinch. Bolt goes. It is a big shock of all time, but Blake got away with it. A third time. Ready? Watch Blake's leg if you're not convinced. It's very clear. Here we go. Flinch. Bolt goes. I mean, there's really no disputing this. Now, what should happen? I mean, Blake won. The, the race has been run. He got away with it. If you get away with a hold in American football, you get away with a hold. We don't go back and, you know, change the outcome a day later. But what I'm proposing, I'm not really sure. I think there is a day coming up in the middle of the competitions when there's nothing going on for the 20-kilometer walk. I say we get these two men back in the stadium. It'll be packed. It'll be pandemonium. We could probably pay them $500,000 each. There'll be international media. It'll be the spectacle way bigger than Michael Johnson, Donovan Bailey match race. Have them race off, and the sport wins. Bolt wins. Everybody wins. And I'm sure Blake won't complain. I mean, the training partners, why not? But again, there's really no refuting this. We want to thank our friends at All Athletics, all-athletics.com. They're a stats site for pointing this out to us. And again, this is Robert Johnson with Let'sRun.com showing you that the man, Usain Bolt, did not actually fall start. It was the man that now that everyone is praising as a champion, Johan Blake, who actually fall started. Thanks a lot.